engine was built in York, Pennsylvania in 1917 and it was sold brand new to the city of New Westminster which they used it for a few years and then it came to the island and it ended up at uh, McLean's Mill National Heritage Site in Port Alberni. What did they use it for in New Westminster? Uh, they used it for building road and it ran a rock crusher and towed stumps and logs around when they were developing the city, I guess. And what would it, what would it have done at the mill, at McLean's Mill? Out at McLean's Mill, they just used it to run the planer because the main engine in the sawmill wasn't big enough to handle all the power they were using. It uh, ran a flat belt onto the planer. It's fired with wood. Weighs 12 tons without any water. It packs about 3,000 pounds of water and half a quart of wood. It'll keep them going for a few hours at a time. This machine sat as a derelict out at McLean's Mill for 50 or 60 years. And me and a couple of uh, buddies there in the Heritage Club in Port Alberni decided to restore it and we got a lot of help from the Burnaby Boilermakers, Lodge 359. They came over and volunteered many hours on here, putting the tubes and cleaning it up and doing the QC work. And this is where it's at now. It's running with 125-pound uh, steam pressure. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking it's probably pretty tough to find somebody that knows how one of these old pieces of equipment works. Well, there's still quite a few guys around that know how to run them, and uh, but people don't seem too interested anymore, the young kids, eh? Did you have to learn how to run it yourself, Les? Yeah, I had to, uh, a few friends of mine from down the Nimo give me a few lessons, and in the hours I spent on here and firing on the steam train, I had to take a government test and uh, got my ticket to run it, yes. Yeah, you just keep throwing some wood at it and keep the water in there and lots of oil and it'll go for another hundred years. Twelve tons of glory. 